This one video got me 20,000 followers on Instagram, but not only that, it got me 45,000 qualified leads for my business. And I'm gonna show you the exact step-by-step -step process on how I did it so that you can replicate it for your own coaching and consulting business. And no, I'm not gonna sit here talking about hashtag trending sounds, editing tricks for retention. This will just be raw, uncut sauce on how I did it. So with that being said, let's dive straight into it. So right before we get into everything, I just wanna show you the video and show you the proof that I actually did get 20,000 followers from just one video. And it's this video right here, 4.5 million views, 300,000 likes, 17,000 comments. So go ahead and click on it. If I click on here, or if I click on view insights, we're going to see right here, 44.5 million views, scroll down a little bit more, follows 19.9 thousand follows. Just one video alone got me 20,000 followers. That's 20,000 leads. But let's just get straight into it and I'm gonna show you the exact process on how I did this and how you can replicate the exact same thing. So the first thing is gonna be how do I find inspiration for content? And it's pretty simple. All I'll do is I'll go to Instagram and I'll search up creators within my niche, right? So maybe it's Devin Jatho, Jason Cooperson. So whatever kind of creator you are, so let's say you are a fitness creator, look at other fitness creators within your niche. But let's just say I were to copy for my specific niche, I'd go ahead, click on Devin Jatho, and I'd look for videos, so I'd click on Reels, I'd look for the videos that have at least 300,000 views or more. So he has a lot of videos that have popped off and done very, very well. So what I'd do is I'd find a video you dumbass and ask ChatGBT, can you give me 10 content ideas that I think I could do? So this one right here, I like this video and I think I want to replicate this one. So if you need content ideas, watch this and then I'll come to my Google tracking content tracking system, open up my scripts, create a new script. And right here, I'll just type in whatever name. I'll typically do SFC standing for short form content and then the video and then number it. So first thing that he says TikToks or Instagram real. So let's restart the video. If you need content it is So if you need Alright, so now that I've pretty much copy pasted the hook of the video, um, so it is from this Devin Jatho video. And all I did, if you need content it is for TikToks or Instagram Reels, don't be a And I would take it, write it down into a Google Doc so that I have the exact copy paste. And now what I'm gonna do is start changing it around to make it better fit what I wanna talk about. So if you need kind of, so the first sentence is, if you need content ideas for TikTok or Instagram Reels, don't, do, don't be a dumbass and ask ChatGPT. So I don't usually use ChatGPT to create content. So what I could do instead is still keep don't be a dumbass, but I can do something like don't be a dumbass and spend time trying to create original content, right? So because you want to look at other people's content that has gone viral and you want to replicate that exactly what we're doing right now. So don't be a dumbass and spend time trying to create original content. And then for this, we could change. So this is the quote where he's talking about the uh, what he's telling ChatGPT to do. So what we can do, so you can go instead copy other creators niche word for, or actually what we could do, steal other creators content word for word. That way it's more of a bolder statement and it kind of goes against the normal and it'll get people upset and want to watch the video because remember if you make people angry and make them feel some sort of emotion in the video they'll start to watch the part where it says that's horrible we can go ahead and honestly erase that we don't really need that and then he goes let me put you on game and teach you how to use chat GPT correctly to get viral content ideas so instead we can go let me put you on game and teach you how to steal content correctly to get viral content ideas. And then here where it says enter sauce, that is where I would just put out a step-by-step -step process on how to get more content ideas. 
uh, and go viral as well. And then I would just have my call to action. So whether that's follow me for more, or if you have some sort of uh, free course that you want to give away, you can set up a many chat automation that'll be comment whatever word, and I'll send you over a free course, guide, ebook, whatever you want. So this is pretty much how I'll get viral content ideas. And that is exactly how I got my videos, and especially that one video, to get results like this right here. If you 4.5 million views, like I said, 20,000 follows from one video, right? And you do this over and over and over again, and you'll start to stack up these viral videos, stack up these followers, right? And this is the exact same process that I did to get to create this video. I didn't come up with something brand new. All I did was look for other content creators that are within the niche and then copy paste the script over, change the wording around to better fit what I'm talking about, right? So that brings us on to the next part and that is gonna be how I film like a G, right? So what you wanna do when you're filming content is change camera angles, wear something that stands out, have something going on in the background, be something or be doing something while you talk to the camera and do something different visually, right? So change the camera angles, put the camera in just different spots that the viewer would not expect, right? A lot of the times everyone does the same type of content, this looks the exact same way, they say the exact same thing, the editing is the exact same way, right? So all you have to do is just tweak the tiniest little bits and it's gonna make it stand out. So when the viewer is scrolling on TikTok, it's not all copy paste. Because once they scroll to yours and yours visually looks different, it'll break that pattern of everything looking the same. And that'll get them to watch the video. Another thing, like I said, wear something that stands out. Maybe wear a brighter t-shirt. Right, maybe wear something that's uh, flashier, right? Uh, have something going on in the background. You can have someone or something just happening on in the background and what that can do is also grab the viewer's attention. So maybe they pay attention to the thing in the back while also listening to what you're saying, right? Uh, be doing something while you talk to the camera. I did this trick not too long ago where I bought a MacBook uh, Pro and I was unboxing it during the video, but what I was talking about in the video had nothing to do with the MacBook I was just talking about how to go viral on social media all that type of stuff while unboxing the video And what that did was mesmerize some of the viewers and they were just watching me unbox There was people in my comments saying I didn't even watch or listen to the video I was just watching the unboxing right and all that's doing is boosting the engagement on the video boosting the views all that type of stuff And then the other thing is just do something visually different Right? Just try to be different. Look at what everyone else is doing and think, all right, what can I do differently to make my video stand out? That's exactly how I film. And then also how I edit like a G. What my content is, if you really dissect the editing, it's just be a Heza style and a Musa style. So I took the camera angle that he would do, put it up top, point it down. That was, no one else is doing that except for him. It all came from him. But the thing is to make it stand out and make it different, I looked at one of my creators, my favorite creators, Bia Heza, who is more of a YouTube creator, and I was like, I like his style of content, I like his editing, what if I just mash the two? So what you need to do if you want to create a good editing style that is your own essentially, and it'll make it, the video stand out from everyone else's, is what you can do, again, you're not coming up with original ideas, but you're picking little things from every creator that you like. Maybe you like Bia has an editing style like me. Maybe you like the Musa camera angle. Maybe you like Casey Neistat videos. Maybe you like Daniel Dallin. Whatever you want, just take a bunch of creators, look at things that you like, and then just start implementing all these little things, and eventually you'll have your own style. That'll be filming style, editing style, and then you mix that up with a script that has already been proven to work, there's no reason that you shouldn't go viral. And then the lastly, the thing that I wanted to show you guys was just how many leads that the video got me. So you can see right here, this automation I have set. So whenever somebody commented to the word course on that video, it sent out a message to those people that commented. And that would be a link to my course. People would go into my course, they'd go through the entire thing, and then I'd get them to purchase to whatever I was trying to sell. Right, so this is the exact automation I ran, nothing crazy at all. So all you need is just the traffic to the video. So if you can do everything that I said in this video exactly. So if you can find, look at creators within your niche, right? 
Look at the videos that have gone viral for them. At least 300,000 views or more. Copy paste a script into a Google Doc exactly like I showed you, just like this. You put it into here, and then what you'll do, you'll you write it out word for word. Then you change the wording around to make it better fit for you, and put in where it says enter sauce, put in whatever kind of information that you wanna talk about, and then have your call to action. And then, like I said, filming like a G, Create your own style, do something different with the way that you film, and then same thing with editing. For editing, just look at all these different creators and be like, I like that part, I like the way he has his captions, I like the way he has his visuals, or all that type of stuff, mix them into one, and then you'll have your own editing style. That's pretty much gonna be it for this video. If you want one-to-one -one help to scale your coaching consulting business, just book a call in the description below, and I'll see you there.